Today I will be showing you how to tweak Windows XP to get a little bit more performance out of it and also install a good free antivirus software. I don't see the point in installing expensive antivirus products such as Norton or McAfee as the free utilities tend to perform just as well if not better. Now a common cause for a slow PC is a fragmented hard drive. Files are randomly split across the whole hard drive and this slows down access times slowing down your computer. Defragging pushes commonly used files closer together, speeding up access times, speeding up performance and your computer in general. Now to do this, double click on my computer, right click on local disk and select properties. Ensure that there is a tick in this box here called allow indexing service to index this disk for fast file searching and then click apply. Once this has been done, click tools and then click the defragment now button. When the disk defragmenter tool has opened up, we need to disable the uh, any screensavers you may have running as this will slow down the, the fragmentation process by a large factor. To do this, right click on an empty portion of the desktop, select properties, click the screensaver tab and ensure that none is selected in the screensaver drop down box. Click it and then click apply. Once this has been done, click OK. The next step is to click the defragment button on the disk defragmenter utility. Now this will take a long time, somewhere in the region of between 2 and 6 hours depending on how fragmented your hard drive is and how many files you have on it. So do nothing whilst the computer is doing this, go away, do something completely different and come back when the computer states that it has finished. It will take a long time but it will be worth it in the long run. The next step is, once this has been completed, is to close the disk defragmenter utility, close the local disk C properties, and close this window here too. Right, this should increase the performance of your computer now that it has been defragmented. The next step in this guide is to install a good free antivirus software. Right, so on to the next part of this guide. We want to download a free antivirus software, so open up a web browser and in the antivirus bar type free oh, free.avg.com. When you get to this web page, click the left Get It Now button. Learn, and under the ABG free column, click the free for private use only download button. Next, click the left hand side download now button and you'll be taken to the web page. Last time, click download now and your web browser will prompt you to download a file, which you should say to the This will take about 20 minutes. For me, it seems that it will take 24 minutes. So go away, make a cup of coffee, and come back when it's finished downloading. So, my file has finished downloading. Here it is in the desktop. So I'll double click to open it. This is just a confirmation that we want to run the setup file. So run. The EPG setup will extract itself. We don't need to worry about this part. You want to click your language. You get English or Spanish, so we'll go for English and then click Next. Click Accept and one more time, and then it will perform a system status check to ensure that it is safe to install the software. This will take about two minutes.
installation has now been completed, so we can click OK. EVG should now launch the ins installation wizard. When this window appears, click Next. Now at this point we can choose if we would like to have daily scanning enabled or disabled. It's probably a good idea to have it enabled, but you must remember that at the time which you select here, your computer will perform a full system scan, which may slow down the computer for a period of about 40 minutes. Therefore, I choose to select when I want to scan, when I want to actually scan. So I will disable this option. It just wants to confirm this, so I will click Yes and hit Next. You have to select Yes to agree to this. And I click Next. Next again. At this point, AVG decides to update itself so it can cover against the latest threats to your computer. You can choose to register your AVG antivirus, however there are not that many benefits and it's probably not worth your time. So we can just click next and then finish. At this point you will notice two things. First of all an AVG free edition icon has appeared on your desktop and there's also an icon down here for AVG antivirus. Double clicking on a desktop will open the AVG control center. There are a couple of warnings here. First of all, it says you are not protected, please check the following components. Antivirus, database is out of date, and database is out of date for anti-spyware. Therefore, to update, click the Update Now button. A window will pop up telling you that there are new updates, so I just click Update. And they begin to install. From this point, we can choose to scan our computer. To scan a whole computer, click Computer Scanner and then click Scan Whole Computer. When this is opened, this window here, click Start Scan. Now, this will take a long time in the region of 40 minutes, but it will scan your whole entire computer for any possible antivirus threats. When it's done, this list will, will be populated with any threats that are on your computer and AVG will advise on how to get rid of them or what to do next. If you find there is a particularly stubborn uh, virus which you cannot deal with, please contact me at support at upsetpc.com or visit upsetpc.com and contact me via the website. I'm going to leave this scanning so I can now minimise this. I hope you've enjoyed this video guide and I hope that you don't have any problems but if you do you can contact me on the address I just gave. Thank you very much and please look forward to more videos soon. Thank you. Bye.